Welcome the Fighting Irish to the University of Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish will make their second ever appearance at the Sun Bowl, and that is now official. And tonight we take a look back at the first time the Irish came to town, as well as how many tickets are left. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us for ABC 7 at 10 weekend. I'm Rosemary Montañez. And I'm Sam harris -Somowitz. Good evening, everyone. The Sun Bowl is said to be a matchup between a Pac-12 team, and we got that, but they usually take on an ACC team. And to the surprise and frankly delight of a ton of fans, the Borderlands' biggest game is including an independent team, and that team is none other than the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. That's right, but let's rewind nearly 13 years to the only time the Irish have played in the Sun Bowl against the Miami Hurricanes. We literally had to sift through boxes of DVDs to find this footage of the big day, the big game over one decade ago. And Rosemary, you were telling me because you were living here at the time, it was a freezing and snowy day in December of yep. 2010. So the team from <laughs> South Bend, Indiana probably felt right at home. But as we take a look back in time, a very familiar face was reporting from the sideline for ABC7. As players from both Miami and Notre Dame learned, the Sun Bowl was more like the Snow Bowl. And get this, at kickoff, it was 36 degrees here in El Paso, and it took crews about 90 minutes to clear all of the snow off the field. But once they did, it was all Notre Dame. It was absolutely freezing. I remember it very well. Not only was ABC7 anchor Paul Calavera reporting, he was our sports anchor back in 2010. That Sun Bowl was packed with over 50,000 excited fans, and the game itself was a star-studded affair with several future NFL players. Talk about your three interceptions today and what it meant to walk away with the victory here in El Paso. I mean, really, we just want to come out here, like you said, and get a win. I mean, it was the whole defense getting pressure, just giving the quarterbacks different looks. And now let's hear about the game that we're actually going to see in 2023 on December 29th and where they'll be playing also where your New Mexico State Aggies will be playing for their bowl game this year. That's right. Let's send things over to ABC7 Sports Director Adrian Ochoa. Adrian, a very exciting day. Yeah, very exciting indeed, and thanks for taking me uh, down a trip down memory lane. I remember working as a news producer back in 2010 during that symbol, a very busy day for us, and it's just incredible to think that 13 years later, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish are coming back. We had to wait a while for today's announcement, but finally, hours after hours of waiting, the Sun Bowl Association announced that Notre Dame would indeed be coming back to the Sun City. And you see it right here, the excitement from Sun Bowl officials. They went into this not knowing that Notre Dame would even be available, but because of everything that happened in the ACC with Florida State not being selected to the college football playoff, that led to a trickle-down effect with the Irish then becoming available at the last minute. Get your tickets now because we sell out in 24 hours. That, this is a great experience. I want to thank everybody who was here, all of our Sun Court, everybody that's on my football staff for having the patience to listen for four hours now. We've been on the phone going back and forth with the ACC. We finally got it worked out. And as we say, thank God, thank El Paso, thank you so much. Well, as for the New Mexico State Aggies, well, they're going bowling as well, and they won't have to travel very far. For the first time ever, they'll be playing in the New Mexico Bowl. They'll face Fresno State out of the Mountain West Conference. The Bulldogs finished their regular season 8-4. and four. NMSU, meanwhile, 10-4, and four, again, coming off that tough loss in the Conference USA title game against Liberty okay. back on Friday. Now, that game's set for December 16th at University Stadium in Albuquerque. As for the Sun Bowl, that game, December 29th, with kickoff set for noon. And from what I'm hearing, Sam, tickets are going very fast. They certainly the are, Bowl. Adrian. Rose and I checked the Sun Bowl's official website. That Sun Bowl in 2010 actually sold out in 21 hours. Everyone seems to be very excited. We're obviously excited here in studio. This is a look at Ticketmaster. This bottom portion is usually the ACC section, but obviously, as we know, that is now the Notre Dame section. There are almost zero tickets left available in that portion, as well as this neutral part. Now, the Oregon State, there's probably about 60% sold, so those tickets are going fast. We actually called the Sun Bowl Association and asked. They said they are expecting to be sold out sometime tomorrow. Gotta get your tickets quickly. All right. Thanks, Sam.